This is a seven-year-old male, fever and cough of one week duration, breathlessness two days, not much of diurnal variation or position variation. Chest pain today, holds on to the right chest while coughing because of pain. Now vitals, heart rate is increased, respiratory rate is increased and uh, capillary refill is okay. And we will not uh, dwell on the scheme of examination. Scheme of examination you can refer to my book on clinical examination. Here we will uh, concentrate only on physical examination of the child. Upper respiratory tract, there is flaring of LNSA, no lower chest wall in drawing. Inspection and palpation, chest wall is symmetrical. Actually we expected some asymmetry because of scoliosis and that scoliosis was expected because of the pain of the chest but it is not there in this child. Trache is central and apex is normal position. Chest wall movement reduced on the right side especially the lower part. No palpable sounds. There is tenderness infraaxillary region on the right side. On percussion, the infraclavicular area normally resonant on both sides. There is impaired resonance in the right mammary, intrascapular and infrascapular areas. And due to pain, the child is not allowing percussion in the right axillary and infraaxillary areas. Now auscultation. Normal vesicular breath sounds of increased intensities on the left side and normal intensity on the right side. So there is no pathology where there is a normal vesicular breathing of increased intensity. It happens in exercise etc. So in this case ultimately the diagnosis is uh, uh, consolidation and the child has got pain on the right side so the right side is moving less and uh, not allowing much of air entry. So more air is possibly going into the left side and that could be the reason why the vesicular breath sounds on the left side. Uh, appears louder. But uh, character is vesicular only. The expiration is just about one third of uh, inspiration and there is no pause between expiration and inspiration. Now coming to the right mammary area, actually um, we must call it inframammary area but um, uh, some books do not mention an inframammary area that's why I'm mentioning it as just mammary area. So coarse crackles and bronchial breathing are heard in the right mammary area. And bronchial breathing is almost typical. The hollow aspirate quality, there is a gap between inspiration and expiration. And the crackles are there in the inspiration, especially middle and the later part. And also a few crackles uh, at the end of expiration also is heard. Now, in the right infraaxillary area, the child is not allowing pressing of diaphragm, but still uh, there is a pleural rub heard. That is uh, cracking or uh, grating. For example, a, a old door when you open, tuck, 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 like that. So that uh, sound is there. And on the corresponding part of the expiration, the same sound comes. The difference here is because of pain, the child holds the breath at inspiration, at the end of inspiration, 
and so the expression is sort of uh, interrupted. So uh, instead of uh, a smooth flow of uh, rubbing sound, you have an interrupted uh, flow of uh, rubbing sound. And vesicular breathing of decreased intensity is appreciated in the right interscapular and infrascapular areas. Auscultation of other areas, all other areas except the ones that mentioned now, are having a normal blood sound. And vocal resonance appears to be slightly increased on the mammary area, right side. And vocal resonance in the infra axillary and infra scapular areas on the right side is reduced. So, what is the diagnosis? Right middle lobe consolidation, pleurisy. And regarding plural effusion, we cannot make a uh, definite comment because we couldn't percuss the axillary and infraaxillary areas. So, a definite opinion cannot be given. So, consolidation, what are the points in favor? One is uh, normal shape of chest. Although you can have an um, scoliosis because of pain, as I said earlier, in this case, actually we expected a an abnormality in the shape because of the scoliosis, but it is not there. Decreased movement of the affected area which is there in this child. Trachea and mediastinum are not shifted. And dullness or at least impaired resonance in the areas that I have already mentioned. Bronchial breathing and crackles. And increased vocal resonance in one area that is the mammary area. The one point is uh, decreased intensity of breath sounds and decreased vocal resonance in the interscapular and infrascapular areas. That could be due to blocked airway by the thick uh, mucus plug and hence air itself is possibly not entering the airways and hence these uh, uh, air entry and resonance are less. Now, is there any point in favor of pleural effusion? For pleural effusion, we want the trachea and mediastinum to be shifted and it is not there in this child. And we want stony dullness, uh, but uh, we couldn't percuss, uh, uh, in some areas we couldn't percuss and uh, the areas that we could percuss was dull. Then there is uh, decreased intensity of breath sounds and vocal resonance in the uh, infrascapular area. That could go with uh, a plural effusion, but as I said earlier, it could also go with uh, consolidation with some reservations, which I mentioned earlier. Plural rub indicates inflamed pleura, uh, but uh, significant plural effusion is unlikely if there is plural rub in the infra axillary area because uh, uh, the plural effusion will separate the plural membranes visceral and parietal pleura far apart so that it will not rub in the infra axillary area. So uh, possibly a significant pleural effusion is unlikely in this child.